I'm Anil Kumar and here is another practice question on solving polynomial equations. The question is solve the following equations by factoring. I have only picked up one which is question 2 part D page 204. 10x cubed plus 26x squared minus 12x equals to 0. As you can see amongst the numbers 2 is common and amongst the variables x is common. So let's factor 2x. So that is group factoring. So we get 5x squared plus 13x minus 6 equals to 0. Now we have a quadratic trinomial here. 5x squared plus 13x minus 6 which we can factor using product and sum. So let me factor this separately and then we'll write down the factor here. Okay, so let me do it on this side. So we have 5x squared plus 13x minus 6. We are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 6, right? So we are looking for two numbers, p and q for example. p times q should be equals to minus 6 and their sum should be equals to plus 13. So what are these two numbers? Which will give you, sorry, the product is 6 times 5, 30. Sorry. 30 right so the product is let me rewrite this 30 and the sum is 13 minus 30 so the numbers are 15 and 2 now since the sum is positive we will use plus 15 right so the numbers are plus 15 and minus 2 when you multiply these two numbers you get 30 which is product of 5 and minus 6 when you add them you get 13 so what we can do here is we can write 13x as combination of these two. So we have 5x squared plus 15x minus 2x minus 6. Now amongst the first two 5x is a common factor. So we can factor this out and get x plus 3 and here minus 2 is common. We again get x plus 3. If you don't get same thing you have to check what mistake you did. At times when we factor minus we do not change the sign that would be a mistake. Now we can factor x plus 3 and we get 5x minus 2. So that is how you can factor it and replace. So we get 2x times x plus 3 times 5x minus 2 equals to 0. So now when we have it in factored form, you can write down the solution. Each zero will give us a solution. So first solution is when 2x equals to 0, that gives us x equals to 0. The second is when x plus 3 equals to 0, that gives us x equals to minus 3 as the value. And the third one is when 5x minus 2 equals to 0. So we get x equals to 2 over 5. Do you get the answer? So we can write down the answer as x equals to 0 minus 3 or 2 over 5. These are the three solutions. Well on factoring here is an alternate way of factoring. I found that some students use this alternate way in a better way. We learn that when we are factoring with leading coefficient as 1 and when we know what two numbers give you product and sum then what did we do? We did x minus 2 and x plus 15, right? We did directly. We can apply similar technique here. So let me show you once. Rework on this technique of factoring. 13x minus 6. So the magic numbers were 15 and minus 2. So what we will do is, but this time leading coefficient is 5, not 1. So we'll maintain 5x instead of x and write down our magic numbers which are 15 and minus 2. So plus 15 times 5x minus 2. But if I multiply 5x by 5x I get 25 not 5. Since I need 5 I'll divide this by 5. That it? So that becomes my factored form. How? I can simplify now. 5x plus 15 divided by 5 gives me Five, sorry, 5x divided by 5 is x, 15 divided by 5 is 3. 
and we have 5x minus 2. So we get the same result 5x minus 2 and x plus 3. So at times you can also adopt this factoring technique. Have a good look at it and try it sometime. Okay? So this has a bit of advantage one step less to get to the answer. I hope that helps. Thank you.